What's up my peeps, I have something for you guys. Now you know most tech enthusiasts begin to get many Android phones and many iPhones and then we are faced with one particular problem. How do we get that airdropish experience? That's the convenience of airdrop on iPhone and then get it on the Macs and get it on the Android phones as well. You can see there is a Mac behind me. So I deal with Android, iPhones, Macs, maybe Android tablets, iPads. We all know AirDrop works between iPhones, Macs, iPad and other Apple products. But then on Android, we have QuickShare and QuickShare doesn't work on Androids and then work on iPhones. So we need an app that can give us that kind of convenience AirDrop has, but then on Androids and on iPhones. Luckily, we have an app that even offers more convenience than AirDrop. The app is called Blip. As you can see, it's on the Google Play Store and the App Store. I'm going to show you guys just how awesome it is as soon as you download the apps on both the App Store and Google Play Store. Of course, the app will finish downloading first on the iPhone. Classic Apple. Let's throw in the Mac as well. You can see it supports so many platforms including Linux, but we are going to use the Mac. Now it's very simple, we have installed the apps. Let's open it on both devices and the Mac as well and sign in with the same account. And then after signing in, set up, allow notifications and grant file saving permissions. And now you see all the apps you are logged into with that account on your home page. That's how it works. Let's see it in action. We are going to send something from the Android phone to the iPhone. That's the iPhone 12. And you can see that was very quick. And we have the image on the iPhone 12. Now we are also going to send something from the Android phone to the Mac. And you can see it also very snappy. Mind you, the all connected to the same Wi Fi network, which makes everything very efficient now we are sending something from the iphone to the android phone as you can see also very fast same image across now from the iphone to the macbook same image and also very snappy you can see that's very quick now from the mac itself to the android phone immediate reception and from the mac again to my iphone a minute very snappy, you can see how fast that came. One thing you have got to love about this app is that it is crazily convenient. Okay, I have no idea if crazy this is a word though, but it's that good. The app works over cellular, exactly. So like, if you ever find yourself in a situation where, you know, one of your devices or your swear you're trying to send to is far away, it depends on how cellular data is going to work perfectly. Yeah, it's that good. Also, it supports sending large files. There is no file limits. Yeah, and then if there's any network connection on the way, it pauses and then resumes as soon as the network gets better. Exactly. So to me, in my opinion, it is more convenient than airdrop. Yeah, it makes life easier than airdrop. Airdrop to me just has faster speed when you're sending between Apple devices. Exactly. But then as far as cross-platform is concerned, this is one of the best. You can see it works on Linux. So if you use Linux, you could try it out and get back to me. I don't know how it is. Also, compare this with local send. Yeah, I need to know if it's as good as local sense or better off. To me, it's better off. I want to know your opinion. And subscribe to my channel for more tips like this. I didn't really shoot this video in the conventional way I shoot my videos, but then I had to just whip up something. Yeah, I'm expecting my boom arm. And then I can't really sit right and, you know, talk to my mic properly. So that's why I've refrained on shooting many videos. But then, I'll just tell you guys about this app because it's pretty amazing.